What's cracking, movie trivia Schmodown fans? It's your boy C Dub, and today we got a fatal five way inner geekdom with five brand new competitors. This is going to be a lot of fun. Let's check it out. <laughs> Before I, I still I say it to this day, you are one of the best competitors we have, and I mentioned it at your match. Sam Levine had a rough start; uh, mm-hmm. he was three and four. Yep. Do you feel? Are you discouraged? Are you? How are you feeling? Well, well I'm, I'm doing the announcer thing, so that's how I feel right <laughs> now. I'm, gonna, I'm taking a step back. I'm focusing on things, but this is not about me. It is not. This it is, is about innerdom and geekdom it, together combined. Inner geekdom. You are 100 percent correct, Mr. Beast, and there is. <laughs> The inner geekdom. So this league, excuse me, this division in general has taken off. You have created superstars in the inner geekdom, whether it be a, a, a Mike Kalinowski or obviously Rachel the Crusher Cushing, Robert Meyer Burnett, Hector Navarro, and the current champion himself, Jason Justice Inman. Those are all some of the stars that have emerged from the inner geekdom division. Now we have some new competitors coming in. We just had our first Fatal Five Way a couple of weeks back, where. The enforcer, Mark Donica, won that match, and now he is going up against the winner of today's Fatal Five Way. He sure is. Thank you, Beast. <laughs> probably, probably brought you on the table. That's but, right. No, it's exciting. It's exciting to see new competitors out here, new mutants, if you will, new other things, and that is neat. Yeah, well, it is neat because you don't know who's going to emerge. Like we, Donica was the, if you, when you put up that poll, he was the least because nobody really knew what he was going to be able to do, and he was dominant him and adam went toe to toe with donica obviously emerging so who is going to be that today who are we going to see today what kind of knowledge i know some of the skills of these people but i don't know what they're going to be able to do that's exciting for me as an announcer as a promoter to see who is going to face donica next that's right you know you with a lot of people like to see like the old pros the me's the, right, the sure. other me, you know that right. kind of thing. But like, it's the other the me's who look like you. Yeah, that's right. right, right. Like Drew McQueen. Right. Uh, but uh, no, when when you have the new talent in here, the new blood, this is where we start seeing exciting things happen. You know, when Rachel the Crusher Cushing got started, everyone was like, "I don't know who that is. I hope she's good." Right. Turns out she's the best thing ever, and we're all terrified of her. Who is going to be the best thing ever? Could start right here. This well, could be the new chapter in your league. Well, we're going to find this out because we're also going to see what they feel and how they feel going into it. Here we go. My name is Jared Haven. It's my first time on the Schmodown, and I am here to win the Inner Geekdom match. Hi, my name is Elena Jordan, and I'm really excited. This is my first time on the Schmodown. I'm here because my co-host, Roxy Stryer from DC Movie News, said, come on over and hop on board. And so I'm excited to try it out. Hey, I'm Jamie Costa, and uh, I think they're calling me Master of Disguise. Yep, Christian has called me that. I don't know why. Hello, my name is Taylor Robinson, and I am here to see if I can hang with the Schmodown competitors. I was watching Late to the Party compete. I've been a huge fan of Late to the Party, and I saw that they came in, and they could hang with everyone that was playing. So I think that I can do the same. Oh, what's up, guys? My name is Dorian Parks. I am the, I'm the owner and founder of Geeks of Color, and I'm here to, to battle and try to hopefully win this inner geekdom. Um, I just actually just want to make sure I don't get last place. That's my, my goal for today. If it lands on a Lord of the Rings question, the other competitors ought to hope they have a large fellowship to help. As I assure you, Jamie Carson will give it to us. I feel pretty solid on about half the categories, and then the other half, kind of not so much. Uh, DC is definitely going to be one of my strengths, so I'm just hoping that I get a lot of DC questions. So I'm known for the Bachelor series. That's what I've always been known, this like reality TV personality, but I'm a movie lover. I know film. That's why I'm here. I love the showdown. I've been watching for years, and now I'm here. Got to throw my name in the ring. 
you know, the other competitors are graced with seeing Jamie, you know, make his entrance after them. They're just all going to go, wow. That's, that's, that's it. Inner Geekdom is my league. It's my favorite to watch every Schmodown Intergeekdom match that drops. I love these categories are completely my wheelhouse. I got to do this. I got a lot of. I got my family back at home in Texas watching, so I'm, I'm I'm just making sure I don't get last. That's the most important thing because I run Geeks of Color, so it'll be like, how are you running Geeks of Color and you're one of you're in the last place? Come on now. Well, first of all, I heard that there's a, a, a Back to the Future category, which that's heavy. If I win today, I'm, I'm two matches away from facing Jason Inman for the Inner Geekdom Championship belt. That's crazy to me, because I remember watching Jason Inman win that belt and thinking, oh, that'd be awesome if one day I'd be able to get on the Schmodown and kind of just showcase my movie knowledge. And now I'm here, and I have the opportunity. Donica is just in the way. We don't need anyone, Lion's Den, coming in here, being a part of that whole heel faction, doing any of that stuff. So Donica needs to get out of the way so I can get to Inman. I'm about to make it lit in here. This is my first time, my first debut. I'm coming out hot. I'm going to try to go for all of them. And even if I don't know the answer, I'm going to guess, like, I'm, I'm just going to try to see what I know. But they should expect some fire. I mean, I, I think I got I think I got it. Well, it's quite simple. If Jamie gets out there and does what he does best, the first round's going to go, whew, and all the other competitors are going to go, oh, and they're not going to know what that sound means. Today, you guys are going to see some really excited attempts at answering some trivia. Hopefully, we'll just kick it right in the b-hole. Let's do this. <clears throat> A lot of great comments. I don't think we really saw Jamie Costa, the master of the disguise himself. I saw uh, I saw the late great Mr. Robin Williams in there. I saw Owen Wilson in there. I saw Marty McFly. I saw Gandalf. But who are we going to see today when he plays up against Jared Habon, Elena Jordan, jo Dorian Parks, and uh, we and we also have Taylor Robinson, who was a reactor, who was one. Of the, you look at what late to the party, and she mentioned as much in her interview. What late to the party? You're familiar with? Late I'm to the party. very familiar with late to the party. And, and so what they did about being reacting, answering questions, she hopes to also do the same here. Can she? Because you look at what they did. You look at what Tim yeah. the Tank Franco did. Will Taylor Robinson be the next reactor to say, "Oh yeah, look out for us"? And we're gonna. I'm very excited to see all these. Are you ready to go? No. You're not. You want to do Tale of the Tape? Sure. Fine. Tale of the Tape. We have Elena Jordan from DC Movie News. We are assuming that DC Movies, that's a strength. Dorian Parks, Marvel expert. Jared Haber, Lord of the Rings. Taylor Robinson, Harry Potter, amongst other things, Lord of the Rings. And then Jamie Costa. You give him a Back to the Future question, look out. You better go back in time to find out what the real answer is. Because here we go. I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go? Now. Yes. All right. Then, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown. <laughs> Introducing first, representing DC Movie News and the Popcorn Talk Mafia, making her showdown. Shakes the smiles. I tried shaking his hand, but you know what? Yeah. Too smooth. Too smooth. Too I like smooth. It. 
mouth slipped right up. <laughs> and their opponent. Representing reactors everywhere. Making her Schmodown debut. Questions. Ten questions worth one point apiece. They're going to write down their answers on the whiteboard. They will show it to the camera when it is their turn to answer. They have 15 seconds to answer the question. Do not forget about the JTE rule. That means you have three times throughout the match that you can ask to repeat a question. Only three times throughout the entire match. Also, the challenge rule. Do not forget about the challenge rule. If there is a particular answer you think was called right when it was wrong or vice versa, call it out. If your challenge is ruled in your favor, you will keep your challenge. If it was ruled against you, you will lose your challenge. And don't forget the JTE rule can be used to shamelessly stall for time. <laughs> that is very true, actually. And you've done that many times. Many times. All right. All right. So, Elena, are you ready? I'm ready. Dorian, are you ready? It's lit. Jared, are you ready? I'm ready. Taylor. <clears throat> let's do this. Jamie. Hold on to your butts. Then let's, let's get, get ready to smile! Oh! All right, here we go. Question number one, ladies and gentlemen, in the realm of DCEU, who played Martha Kent in Man of Steel and BVS? Batman v Super. BVS. Same that's, not, that's not the official title, but people know what it is. No one, no one. Well, calls you said it. that. Who then calls it that? Watch this. Five, Finally. four, three, two, one. Pens down, Elena. Diane Lane. That is that's correct for one. Dorian. Yeah, I put Martha. Okay. Martha. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's name too. He's wrong. Jared. Diane Lane. Correct. Taylor. Didn't have it. And oh, Jamie. No. Sally Field is incorrect. Ah. Uh, <laughs> all right. So both uh, Elena and Jared had it there. So 1-1. One, one. Okay. Next question. Okay. Category 2. The category is Marvel. In Spider-Man 2, what does Harry Osborn want in exchange for giving Dr. Octopus the tritium? You just wanted to say it like that, didn't you? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I know you pretty well now. I just want to uh, be able to make sure these actually pronounced correctly. I thought you, you were going to say dance. Tritium. I thought you were going to say dance. Five. Yeah. Four, three, two, one, pens JT down. JT rule, how do I? You just oh, get to yeah. repeat the question. In, okay, repeat the question. Yeah. 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 In Spider-Man 2, what does Harry Osborn want in exchange for giving Dr. Octopus the tritium? Okay, that's one JT rule there for Dorian, as you'll get another five <laughs> seconds. One, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one, pens down. Dorian? I uh, put serum. Incorrect, no. Jared. You want Spider-Man brought to him? That's we'll correct. We'll take that. Yep. Okay. Taylor. No, I don't get it. Jamie. <laughs> well, first they put respect. <laughs> <laughs> we all want respect. Oh, okay. It's safety. Uh, Elena. I put a flying board to be a badass. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, but only Jared has it there. So Jared is in the lead here. Two, one, zero, zero, zero on the rest of it here. Question Thanks, number guys. three. <laughs> Thanks, two people. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. In Lord of the Rings, the two towers, to whom was Gandalf speaking when he said, at dawn, look to the east? That is the worst Serena McKellen impersonation I've ever heard. Well, it's not as good as his. Okay, I'll tell you that. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah. At dawn, Damn. look to the east. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah, it's Five. At dawn, look to the east. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Jared. 
Aragon? Correct. Good. Taylor? Nope, I don't know. Jamie? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Better. Elena? Aragon, Correct. question mark, but yay. You got it. And Jordan? I put the hobby. Right. <laughs> okay, so right now we have two, zero, three. Jared has three, taking out a lead here. Three for Jared. Next question. All right. Question number, question number four. Question number four. Christian Harloff's least favorite movie franchise, right. Star Wars. That's untrue. Oh who is C-3PO and R2-D2's master before their escape pod lands in Tatooine? That one's cut steep. No one Does it? Steep. I think so. I, 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 know, I know that. Oh, Everyone knows that. you're so good, I guess. Yes, right. Why aren't you playing? Because you asked me to announce. Watch this. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Taylor. I put Leia. I don't know. Jamie. Oh, we got incorrect. Now, Elena. Oh, and Luke's uncle? Incorrect. Dorian. I played Kobe. Incorrect. Uh, and I play Oh, sorry. Oh, that's for. Captain Antilles. Oh. Captain Antilles. All right, so next question comes in the realm of DC movies. DC movies. Which comedic actor plays Gus, a bumbling computer genius who gets mixed up in a scheme to destroy Superman in Superman 3? How would you destroy Superman? That's the Superman? one I know so well. Which one? How would you destroy Superman? You had the, if you had the, I wouldn't. It's my favorite. But you're oh, okay, but if you had, I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, well then the world's gonna blow up or something. I wouldn't. Oh, I All right, fine. Sorry, world. Four, three, two, one. The pens down. Of the DC Jamie here. Costa. Yeah. That's right. You gotta right. say it out loud. Right. Richard yeah. Pryor. There Correct. you go. Elena. Elena? Uh, I just drew a smiley face. It looks a little like Richard Pryor, but we can't give it to you. <laughs> Dorian. I don't know. Okay, Jared. Okay. Richard Pryor. All right, Jared. Taylor. No. no, all right. So Jared taking control of his lead, but Jamie's on the board there, so Jared now has four. Lena has two. Dorian and Taylor have not scored yet, and Jamie has one. Next question. Your next, your next question is in the category of Star Trek. These are movies in which stars trek places. <laughs> what West Coast U.S. city provides the setting for a majority of Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home? Oh. How do you voyage home? Yeah. I tell you how I kill Superman. How do you kill Superman? Five, four, three. Repeating the same bit over and over. That would do it, yeah. <laughs> that would annoy me to death. <laughs> All right, Elena. Los Angeles? That's Ooh, incorrect. Correct. Sorry. Los Angeles. No. Sorry. San Francisco? Correct. San Francisco. Oh. San Francisco. That is not San Francisco. Oh, no. Taylor is on the board, but Jared has a three-point lead here. Five points on the board. Dorian has two. Gene one, Taylor one, and Dorian looking for his first point as we get into... We believe in you, Dorian. Come no, on, Dorian. Question right. seven. Question seven is the yep. MCU. The MCU. Which eye is Odin's patch on in the Thor films? Oh, jeez. I would like to banter with you right now. Okay. About some sort of topic that might be relevant to this question. Can we do it in... Left five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. No, we cannot. We no. have to get their answers. Pens down, please. And Dorian. I put right. That is correct. Oh, correct. Oh, right. Jerry. Right. And Jerry gets it. Taylor. Right. And Jamie. Right. And Elena. Left. Oh, yeah. 50-50 oh, so. shot. So, Elena with two. Dorian gets his first point. The Jared Bring is here. six. Taylor, two. And Jamie, two. As we get to question number eight. Here we go. The category is Harry Potter. <laughs> What class does Severus Snape teach in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? Someone has gas in the ground. Someone has some vile, oh, disgusting yeah. uh, gas. Five, yeah. four, really gross. <laughs> Three, two, Wish they hadn't done that. one, I blame Roka. down, okay. Jared. Pens against the arts? That's Dark incorrect. Arts. That's incorrect. Potions. That's Potions. correct. That's correct. Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. <laughs> Dark Sorcerer's incorrect. What does that even yeah. mean? Elena. Potion. Potion. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lucky little potion. potion. Oh. Jory gets it too. All right, so look at they gain a I little mean, steam up. So, so with that now, Elena has three, Dorian two, Jared six, Taylor three, and Jamie two. But Jared still has a nice three-point lead here as we get to question number nine. The Hobbit. The Hobbit is the next uh, question. The Hobbit. Yep, that's our reaction too. <laughs> yeah. name, name one of the two elven characters that meet with Gandalf and Saruman in Rivendell in an unexpected journey. You gotta give me credit on the way that I didn't stumble on that one. No, no, I don't have to do that at all, actually. I'm at the announcer's table right now. I have a voice of authority. What if I said that you would never be back on the table? I would believe you. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, and Taylor. I don't have anything. No, Jamie. 
Gladrio? That's correct. Yeah, close enough. Uh, Atlanta. Gladrio. Correct. Gladrio. Sorry, I don't have nothing. Jared. Gladrio. There you go. So Jared had it, uh, yeah. Jamie had it, and Alana, Atlanta had it. Dorian so. didn't pronounce it very well, but we gave it to him anyway. Right. Okay. Okay. All right, and our last category in mixed bag. What could it be? Who knows? We do. We're about to tell you the question. Who played Hellboy's girlfriend Liz Sherman in the Guillermo del Toro Hellboy films? Oh, no. This is first round? This is the first round. We're telling, asking for an actor in a movie. It's very obscure information. Elmo Blair. I think you might be able to pull it off. And you can five. do it. Yeah, that's right. Four. <laughs> Here comes three. Three. Here comes two. Two. Here comes one. One. And we're done. Pens down. Costa, what do you got? Sally Field. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. Elena. Hell girl. Incorrect. Oh, Dorian. I put Liz. I don't know. Liz. <laughs> Incorrect. Jared. No, I got to put Selma. It's close. Oh, it's close. Oh, oh, it's Taylor. Oh, Taylor. Taylor. I don't have anything. The that answer. would be the inimitable Selma Blair. Selma oh. Blair. Don't try to imitate her. Just she's inimitable. <laughs> too smooth. Almost had it, but he dropped it. All right. That's so now bad. that's the end of round one. At the end of round one, we have Elena has four, Dorian with two, Jared seven, Taylor three, and Jamie also has three. As we get into round number two, each one of the competitors will spin the wheel. There will be three questions in this round. You can spin again if you don't like the first thing you land on, unless, of course, it lands on opponent's choice or if it lands on a category that has already been chosen. You can steal in this round, so while your opponent is answering his or her question, make sure you are writing the potential steal on the board. A little bit of piece of advice from a formerly good competitor. Trust me, don't try to eat the wheel. It is not made of cheese. <laughs> That was good. I tried. Uh, yeah, that was good. All right, so we start. Jared, would you like to go first, or you can defer if you don't want to go first? I will. I'll go first. All right, Jared's going to go first here as we get to. He had a really nice first round, only missing three out of the first uh, first round. Yeah. All right, Jared, here we go. Big spin. An adequate spin at <laughs> best, <laughs> but we're doing it. It's going around and around. Where's it going to stop? Maybe at some sort of category. The category is villains. Villains. Yes. villains. Do you want to stick with villains, or do you want to spin again? Get one mulligan. Spin it again. He does not like villains. He's Doesn't a hero at heart. That's a much better spin, I guess. I don't know what makes a good spin in that. Nope. Are we done? Are we gonna? Is it gonna be spin? It's not gonna be spin. It's Marvel movie. Marvel movies for Jared. I will ask the questions for Marvel movies here. Marvel movies. Marvel movies. All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go, Jared. First question in the realm of Marvel films. In Deadpool, during the battle on the highway, Deadpool says he has how many bullets left in his guns? 12. That's correct. That's correct. Two points. Yeah. All right, Man notes go. his numbers. Yes. <clears throat> Question two. Who played J. Jonah Jameson's receptionist, Miss Betty Brant, in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man films? Oh, yeah. um, uh, how, what about pronunciation? Say again? I'll take multiple choice. I'll take All multiple right. choice. A, Charlize Theron. B, Emily Blunt. C, Elizabeth Banks. D, Jessica Chastain. It's Elizabeth Banks. For one point. That's right. Not financial banks, but Elizabeth Banks. All right. Your last question here. Your last question. Who played Bullseye in Ben Affleck's Daredevil? Colin Farrell. For two points. Correct. All right. So then Jared. Or Mark Steven Johnson's Daredevil, but okay. Whatever. Jared gets out of the round there with the ones getting five points. Twelve. Twelve points here. No steals. It's two two pointers and one pointer. All right, so now we would jump to Elena if you choose to go next, unless you can you want to defer. I want to go. I'm excited to spin the wheel. Go do it. Uh, Live your dreams. Elena has needs a big spin here. Okay, give it a good give spin it, there. All right, your first spin. Yeah. yeah. There we go. That yeah. wheel is uh, spinning. It's spinning. It sure is. And it's gonna land. Gonna land on, on something. Star Trek. Star Trek. Oh, spin again. Oh, spin again. She spin again. Away. She doesn't away. like stars no. or treks. She wants Who knew? Away from it. Jason Inman and Robert Mike Burnett are star screaming. Star Trek, uh -oh. that crazy uh -oh. Star Trek. Uh -oh. DC movie. DC movie. Oh, yeah. That's a strength. Oh, that well, I strength. hope so. She's wearing the outfit. DC movie news. Here we go, bibs. All right, your, uh, your first question in the category of DC. Who played Night Owl 2 in Watchmen? Oh, can I get multiple choice? 
You sure can. Okay. Your, your choices are A, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, B, Tim Blake Nelson, C, Patrick Wilson, or D, Matthew Good. Patrick Wilson. Patrick Wilson oh, is correct. Well done, indeed. All right, your next, cap your next question. Don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> what comic book movie director played Ferris aircraft engineer and friend to Hal Jordan, Thomas Kalmaku, in Green Lantern? Oh, can I get multiple choice again? You can also get multiple <laughs> choice again. Your, 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 uh, your, uh, your options are A, James Gunn, B, John Favreau, C, Shane Black, or D, Taika Waititi? James Gunn. Seems correct. correct. Yeah. Chance to steal. Dorian. Taika Waititi. One point for yeah. Dorian. D, I put D for Taika Waititi. Okay, that's one point. Yep. D, Taika Waititi. Fair one enough. point, and I Jamie. I broke the whole name, Jamie Black. But, but that's <laughs> not correct. That's not, that's not. So after that, so Dorian got the steal. Jared and Taylor all got the steal there off that miss. Jared has 13 points. Elena, five. Dorian, three. Taylor, it's four. And Jamie, lead. three. Right it's now. It's suicide he's, he's, pulling, he's pulling away. All right, so here right. we go. I hope he's not Last question not. here. DC. Last question. Who provided the voice of Batman in Batman, Mask of the Phantasm? Oh. Kevin Conroy. Can I get multiple choices? You sure can. <laughs> Your options are A, Bruce Greenwood, B, Adam West, C, Jason O'Mara, or D, Kevin Conroy. Was it Adam West? It was not Adam correct. West. Jerry and Steele. D is correct. Is correct. Jared, D is correct. Kevin Conroy. Yeah. 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 Dorian got the steal. Jared got the steal. And Jamie got the steal there. So, but Jared, again, building off of that lead there. The, uh, but Dorian and Jamie coming back there. 4-4. Four, four. So we're going to flip a coin here first between Jamie Costa and Dorian. Please, Dorian, call it in the air. Heads. That Dorian is heads. Has it. Dorian and Taylor. Call Dorian it. and Taylor. Dorian, please call it again. Heads. <laughs> Tails. Tails. All right. So what we're going to do, Taylor will go first, Dorian will go second, and then Jamie will go third. Okay. We call that the coin round. It was the coin round. All right. So we will start with Taylor. Taylor, would you like to go first or would you like to defer? Uh... I'll go. You're going to go. All right, Taylor is going to go there. She's gonna she is going to go to the wheel and then spin that wheel, and then that wheel is going to correspond to some sort of category, which she will then choose to either take or not take. Is that right, Christian? Yeah. Are you a fan of the game? No. Spinning uh, <laughs> the wheel. Here we go. Taylor is looking for Harry Potter. You know, she is looking for, waiting for, oh, and it's looking good. It's, it's looking, looking good. And oh! she needed that. She needed it, and she got it. So here we go. These are the adventures of Harold Potter. Potter. <laughs> I All guess. Right. So Harry, Harry, Harry Potter. Yeah. The Harry Potter world, that is. All right. So starting with, what is the name of the Transfiguration Professor and head of the Gryffindor house? Uh, Minerva McGonagall. That's, That's correct. correct. Okay. okay. <laughs> Question number two. In the Harry Potter films, what does the spell Obliviate do? Uh... I guess multiple choice. Does it? What the hell is it? A, erases memory. B, oh, it's a hover charm. C, it's a small explosion. D, it unlocks doors. A. A is correct. A is correct. Uh, she remembered it now. Right. Here is no your, any form of an oblivious charm. Your last question okay. in the realm of Harry Potter. What is the name of Hagrid's dog? Uh, Fang. Two points. Two points. Oh, yeah. Nice little round. So Taylor gets herself back there. Nine, but she's only five away from Jared here. That was a big round for Taylor. All right, so Dorian, you can choose to go next, or you can defer to Jamie. Yeah, I'll just go. All right, here we just go. go. <laughs> He's over it. He's too cool for us. <laughs> here we go. All right, Dorian, give it a big spin, please. You are. There you go. So Marvel is off the board. Harry Potter is off the board, as well as DC movies. Those three are off the board at the moment. The wheel is shrinking in front of my eyes. How do you do that wonderful effect? Oh. Uh, Star, Star Trek. Trek. So you you, can you like Star Trekking, or do you want to? <laughs> Nobody likes Star Trek <laughs> anymore. He wants it away. So he's looking. What is he? I think that right now. He's probably looking for the MCU, I assume. MCU is where he needs to land, and it's got a shot. It's got a shot. It's got a shot. Oh, it's got a oh, oh, oh. Did we do DCEU? We, we did DCEU. Yeah. Yeah. So I just... No. Yeah. Oh, we did DC. No, DCEU. Oh, you're right. My bad. Right. Okay. Okay, so DCEU. Very excited. All right. Your first question. Are you ready, sir? Uh-oh. Good. <laughs> Confidence. 
In Wonder Woman, what was the name of the weapon that was said was the only thing that could kill Ares? The God Killer. The G God Warren. Killer is correct. <laughs> what is Cyborg's full real name in Justice League? Oh. Give me multiple choice. I'm blanking. All right. Your options are A, Slade Wilson, B, Victor Stone, C, Billy Batson, or D, Arthur Curry? Victor Stone. Victor One Stone. Point. Okay. And your last question here is... Uh, what is the name of the Army Special Forces Colonel who leads the Suicide Squad? Rick Flag. Oh, multiple choices. A. Rick Flag. B. Oh, Rick, Rick Flag. Rick, Rick Flag. Flag. All, right. All right. So Dorian now gets himself one point on above Taylor. So now we have Jamie Costa, who is up. Jamie, go ahead and give it a spin here, Jamie. Jamie's probably looking. For, I would assume Jamie's looking for Lord of the Rings. He or says, Star Wars. <laughs> I'm looking for Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. He says he's the master of disguise, and he's brilliantly disguised as Jamie. It's yeah. just like, I like it. <laughs> he's looking for Star Wars, and hoping that he lands on Star Wars. all going around the side. Star Wars. Almost there. Oh, oh, oh. Heroes. 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 Do you want to stick okay. with heroes? Okay. Heroes. 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 All right, here we go. Heroes for Jamie Costa. Last on the board here, Jamie Costa. They say that a hero will save us, but I'm not going to stand here and wait. All right, here we go. Oh, Jamie, <laughs> question one. <laughs> the realm of heroes. Heroes. In Return of the King, which character cannot resist the temptation to look into the Palantir? Palantir. Palantir. Hippie. Two points. I'm literally only here to correct his pronunciation. All right. What? Question two. Your question two. In The Phantom Menace, who warns Queen Amidala... I can only protect you. I can't fight a Qui -Gon war for you. Jin. Qui Gon Jin. Gosh. I get to say it? Yeah, say it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, all the ones incorrect. For the steel, Lena? Anakin? Incorrect. Yeah. Dorian. Didn't have it. Two Why points. Jin is oh, yeah. Yeah. Hell of a steal. No, and, okay, so so Jared had a two-point steal there. So Jared now 16 points here as he's racking up. And Jamie, his last question here. Jamie. All right. Last question. In the Back to the Future films, ah! who do we learn is Doc Brown's favorite author? <laughs> Five, author. Four, three, ABC, whatever, multiple choice. <laughs> <laughs> Is it A, Arthur Conan Doyle, B, H.G. Wells? H.G. Wells. That's incorrect oh, for the steal. Oh, Should have uh, waited. Yeah, oh, yeah. And H.G. Wells, sorry, A, Arthur Conan Doyle, B, H.G. Wells, C, Robert Louis Stevenson, D, Jules Verne. Your steal, Anna? Oh, Arthur Conan Doyle. That is incorrect. incorrect. Oh. Dorian? D is, is correct. D is Jules Verne, that's D. correct. D is correct. Jules Verne. No. no. So Jerry gets the steal. And oh, with Jared. that, Elena Jordan and Jamie Costa have both been eliminated. <laughs> so Jamie Look at Costa, him go. Elena Jordan, the first two out in this fatal five way. Wonderful now, people. Dorian Park, Taylor Robinson, and Jerry Too Smooth Haymon here. Going into the third round, the winner will play Mark Donica for a shot at Jason Inman. It seems like Jared is way ahead, but here's the thing about being way ahead. Yeah. You might not always be, and then you are not. <laughs> and you're speaking from experience. I am. Screw you, too. <laughs> screw you right to hell. Understood. Oh. Round number three going to work like this. The remaining three competitors will get three numbers from, from 1 to 17. So... <clears throat> Jared, three numbers from 1 to 17. Uh, 15, 5, and 2. 15, 5, and 2. Brilliant numbers. I'm sure they correspond to sporting people. Taylor. Uh, 7, 9, and 4. Seven, also sporting nine, people. For Dorian. Um, 1, 10, and 8. No one. sporting people whatsoever. <laughs> and 8. 1, 10, and 8 for Dorian, who will go first. Oh. Dorian, you're up first here with your two-pointer in the category of DC movies. For your two-pointer, who played Poison Ivy in Batman and Robin? Uma Thurman. Oh. Uma Thurman. Blanking. I'm not gonna get it. Uma Thurman. Five. Uh, Time to make a four, guess. Four. Uh, three, two, one. Two. 
Uh, all right, well, Uma Thurman is what we're looking for. And so now you have your three-pointer. You need to hit this, otherwise okay. you will be eliminated by total knockout. So you're going to have heroes. Is that total knockout or technical knockout? Uh, it'll be <clears throat> a technical knockout. Sports! Yeah. Heroes, heroes. Okay. Who took over the role of Dumbledore in the Harry Potter films after the passing of Richard Harris? <laughs> Um, come on. All right. Uh, come on. Five, four, three. three. Wait, can you repeat the question? Two. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right. Who took over the role of Dumbledore in the Harry Potter films after the passing of Richard Harris? Ian. Sorry, Ian. I don't know. Oh no! It's incorrect. We're looking for Michael Gammon. He was and close. They were with that. Dorian Parks has been eliminated. So it's down to Taylor Robinson. Taylor Robinson has to. She's in the same spot. Yep. She's in the same she, spot Dorian was. She can miss the two, but she cannot miss the three or the five. A good strategy right now would be to get all of them. <laughs> That's a great strategy. As yeah. she goes to. All right, number seven, number seven. All right, number seven in the category of Marvel. Who played Apocalypse in X-Men Apocalypse? Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac. Two Oscar points. Oscar Isaac. Two points. All right, your next category here, Taylor, comes in. Category nine. Nine. I hope not. All right, here we go. All right, your category is Indiana Jones. Yeah. Jesus. What is the name of the museum curator and Indy's friend who appears in both Raiders of the Lost Ark and The Last Crusade? Full name, please. Five, four, three. Repeat the question. What is the name of the museum curator and Indy's friend who appears in both Raiders of the Lost Ark and Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade? Five, four, three, two. I have no idea. And you're yeah. the way of technical knockout. Yeah. We were looking for Dr. Marcus Baroni. A dominant performance here by two. My goodness, I, that's a match I want to see here. You have Jared Havon and Mark Donica going toe to toe. I mean, that was an impressive performance. That was great. I love that you changed his name from Too Smooth to Too Smooth right there at the <laughs> too end. Smooth. Well, too Smooth, I right was there. Hot tea and it burnt my tongue. That was that was one of the most uh, uh, shocking and just walloping inner geekdoms I have ever seen. He just went out. I mean, it looked it was the most dominant performance in a Fatal Five we've ever seen. He was so big, it's like we need to make this an outer geekdom and set it outside and we'll all get some sun, roll around in the grass, LARP a little bit. That's the next phase of the inner geekdom, according to me. So now we're going to talk to Emma Fife, who's backstage with Jared Habon, as well as the rest of the competitors. Here we go. Give him hell, Emma. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? I am here with Jared Too Smooth Habon, and I gotta say, Jared, you earned that nickname today. Well, thank you. I appreciate it, that. I was trying. I had some tough competition out there, but it was like, I don't know, I'm just uh, ecstatic right now because I've been a Schmodown fan for so long, yes. so to come in and win my first match the way I did, um, I, I, I honestly couldn't be happy. It must be pretty gratifying. As you say, as somebody that has really you know, been a fan of, and I would say studied this league to some degree. Oh, absolutely. I knew, like, even when Christian was giving all the instruction for him, I'm like, I know exactly, yep, JTE rule three times, like, we yeah. can ask a repeated question, multiple choice, like, I just, I've, I've seen so many Schmodown uh, matches sure. that, like, I, I, you know, I kind of felt, you know, like, I just slid right in, yeah. like, I've oh, been here before. Oh, well, you did, and, and you slid right in with a real big lead right off the bat in round yeah. one, and nobody could quite catch you. Now, let me ask you, after round one, and you did have that huge Huge league. Were you feeling pretty, pretty confident? confident? Yeah. yeah. I was, no, I was feeling really confident after the first round because I knew that I did really well and I had a pretty decent lead. And I, I knew it all depended on the wheel too because yeah. I knew if I that wheel will get you exactly. So it was all depending on the wheel, which is why I wanted to go first because I didn't want, God forbid, I went up there and DC and Marvel were already gone. Sure. And I'd be SOL. So I was like, let me go up there first. Hopefully, I get either DC or Marvel, and I ended up getting Marvel, not MCU, but I'm, you know, right? I'm still Marvel movies. Exactly. So, um, so that's what I did, and it worked out. I got five points in the second round, and I knew after I got the well, five. 
you had such a big lead yeah. in round two that you knocked out two competitors in round two. I mean, ultimately, at the end of today, Jared, your record is 1-0 and oh with four KOs. Yeah, it was it was pretty good. Yeah, I had a really good day. It was nice. I was, I was feeling good out there. I was feeling warm. Uh, but, uh, and yeah, it was, uh, I, I haven't, you know, I didn't even answer a question in, in round three. Which I know. Was, that's the definition of TKO. I, 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 you didn't I, have to yeah. answer any questions. I know. Nobody could catch that yeah. score. So I was, it, was, it was good. All right. Well, next up, you're going to be facing one Mark Donica yeah. for a chance to take on Jason Inman. Now, the Lions Den have really been banking on Donica, I think, to, uh, you know, be the new inner geekdom champion. I think they maybe should have kept their eye on you, though. Yeah, I think the Lions Den definitely overlooked me. Uh, they, I mean, I can't. Not a them. bad thing, ultimately. Not, not a bad thing. Really totally. Like, I don't mind being the them. underdog. I don't mind being the underdog. And so, uh, so yeah. So I mean, we'll see. I'm excited to take on the new challenge and see what happens. How are you feeling going into the match against Mark Donica? You think you're you think you're ready for it, or are you going to be doing some studying? Oh, I'll definitely be doing some studying. Totally. Uh, he's a great competitor, so it's going to be a tough match. And and so you know, we'll see who's more of a geek. Well, congratulations on a very very impressive win today, Jared. And uh, we look forward to seeing you take on Mark Donica in the near future. We'll be right back with the rest of today's Inner Geekdom competitors. And we are back with the rest of today's Inner Geekdom competitors, Dorian, Taylor, Jamie, and Elena. Guys, first of all, congratulations on making your Schmodown debuts today. And how are you feeling after that match? Honestly, I'm feeling really good because I went in, going in, I was like, all right, my goal, don't get last. That's the whole, my whole thing. Like I said, I didn't want to, I did not want to get last. So coming out third, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with my, with my, for my debut. I mean, listen, no, technically nobody really got last because two people kind of tied when you got knocked out in round two. So, you know, that's, yeah, that's a, that's a, a positive spin to put on everything here. together. Yeah. 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 Now, Taylor, you are a, a big fan of the movie Trivia Schmodown. You're one of our reactors. Now, was it really different being up at the table and under the lights? It's absolutely very different when you're sitting up there because it feels like somehow time goes by faster when you're sitting up there than when you're watching from anywhere else. So, um, but I think that I handled the pressure pretty decently. I think I did all right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Jamie, how are you feeling after today's match? I, I mean, just... you made quite an entrance. Yes, I felt great about my entrance, actually. Um, I actually felt good about my exit as well. Okay, good, good, but good. But I just need to go to a Comic-Con right now and feel a little Yeah, better. just walk around and just take in Soak some of that, that geekdom that's around mm -hmm. you. Now, Elena, you struggled a little bit in round one, but you had a pretty good comeback in round two. I mean, you got a category you were strong in. I actually think I did way better round one. I was so <laughs> excited about spinning the wheel that I kind of forgot about the questions that were coming. So. Yeah, I mean, that's... Uh, just that, wanted to keep spinning. Yeah, I, that, that is a thing. Once, once the wheel lands on a category, you do have to answer answer questions uh, in that category. So obviously, you know, anytime anybody steps into the showdown for the first time, it, it's a little crazy being up there under the lights and there's an audience. And, you know, though some may say you got off to a bit of a rocky start today. Any plans to compete again in the future? Oh, yeah, definitely. If I'm invited back, I'd definitely love to come back and, par and participate in inner geekdom or singles or teams or whatever. There's just so much fun in geeking out with all these other people. It's an amazing time. Oh, yeah, I agree. I'm absolutely back. If I get asked to come back, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to take everyone on. And after you take in all that Comic-Con knowledge, obviously, yes. Jamie. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, I would love to come back and try to redeem a little bit because I know how much crap we gave Mike for missing one question once. Yeah. So I feel like next time I'm on DC Movie News, I'm probably going to I feel there's black, retribution so. coming from uh, Mike Kalinowski there. <laughs> I got a few <laughs> Doc Browns I can do. A few, a few Doc Browns, yeah. Well, you know, again, thank you all of you for joining us today. Congratulations on making your Schmodown debut. Hopefully we will see some of your smiling faces again in the future. And now back to you, Christian and Bibbs. All right, so look, Jared obviously giving a lot of respect to his other competitors and talking about Donica, talking about how he wants to go after the Lions Den, which I thought was good. You know, he's he's watched the Lions Den before. He said, you know, maybe they should have looked at him, but he doesn't care because he just wants to go up against Inman. Hey, who doesn't love Lions? They're really, really cute, right? They would just you, got those would big you join them? Hell no! Right, exactly. And then you, you listen to the rest of the competitors and they just, they couldn't, they, they said it, they just couldn't catch up to Jared, but they were glad that they hung in there. There was a couple of jokes being thrown. There were some 
that they knew, there was some that they didn't. They all had fun, but it was Jared was just he, he never really. He was too smooth. He was too smooth. Was they just smooth. they never gave, he never gave him a chance to catch up. Yeah, that was he the was thing. covered in Vaseline the whole way through. You try to grab him, and he's just like, oh, it's so sticky and weird. And then he just just like you, it. my friend. Just like me. Screw you too. All right, so. Guys, that was the Inner Geekdom 5-Way. Now you're going to get Donica versus Habon. Who do you guys think will win? Make sure you comment. The winner of that will play Jason Justice Inman for the Inner Geekdom Championship. And on March 15th, the live event, one more time, John Roca, Little Evil, main event, the Wildberries going up against the Real Rejects. It's live. It is at the El Portal Theater. Make sure you check it out. Get your tickets at at fullscreenlive.com. There's still a few tickets left. Go ahead and check it out. Christian, will I be there? You will be there. Really? You better be there. Meet. And look, you get to meet the beast. You get to meet everybody else. And what else can you do? You can be a patron. Do it. Go and join Patreon today. The Schmodown. Thank you guys for joining us. For the beast, I'm Christian Harloff, and we'll see you next time. Screw you, Christian. What's up, Schmodown fans? Frank here, and it's your Schmodown Breakdown. <laughs> This match goes on to face Mark Donica, and it was quite clear from the very beginning that Jared Haven would be that person. He had a commanding lead after the first round, and he never looked back. The rest of the field, who are newcomers to the league, comprised of Alana Jordan, Dorian Parks, Taylor Robinson, and Jamie Costa, they fell behind pretty quick. Jared had a superb debut, taking down just about... Everything thrown his way. Missing just three of his 17 questions made for a very impressive debut. The next question is, will it carry you over into his next match against Statica? For all things Schmodown Stats, go to SD Rundown Stats on Twitter. And don't forget the Schmodown Rundown every Saturday on iTunes and YouTube. This has been your Schmodown Breakdown. What's going on, guys? Now, look, we have a big announcement here. If you Well, that was a pretty entertaining match. Um, Jerry Habon, he dominated. I personally, I had Dorian Parks winning this match. But Jerry, he uh, came to play. And uh, his next match against Mark Donica, that's going to be a fantastic battle to see who gets to face Inman for the championship. Much respect to all them other competitors, you know, Jamie, Taylor, and Alisa, you know, they were all, they were good, hope to see them back, uh, yeah, this was a fun, fun match to watch, um, if you like my reaction, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Christopher Woodburn, you can find me on Twitter, Chris Woodburn 83 Facebook, Christopher Michael Woodburn, and if you do Schmodown Reaction, come join the MCS Fan Reaction League on Facebook. It's a lot of fun. So until next time, this is your boy Speed Dub. Peace.